In this video, I'll show you how to convert your own drawings into wiggly animations that you can use in your videos. I'll be using my iPad and the Notes app to draw, and in order to screen record, you have to go to the top here in the control center and tap on this icon. Next to it, I have the icon to enable the dark mode. I'll tap that and then select the white color and the pen to start drawing around. I'll just doodle around different shapes and lines, arrows or other things that I can use in my videos. Alright, when you're done, you can tap this red button to stop recording and send your video to your computer. On the computer, let's open After Effects and create a new composition with the iPad recording. I'll skip to the part where I start drawing and split the footage there with Command plus Shift plus D. Then to get rid of the background, go to Effects and Presets and search for Key Light. Apply it and then click on this eyedropper tool next to Screen Color and select the background in the recording. To see the transparent background instead of the default black color, click here. If we zoom in, we can see the shapes being drawn. I will toggle off the transparency, then with the layer selected, pick the rectangle tool and draw a shape in the center to hide the rest of the Notes app user interface. Now it's time to create the wiggle effect. For that, pre-compose this layer, make sure this is checked, then hit OK. Now go to Layer, New, and select Solid. Doesn't matter the color, just hit OK, and then in Effects and Presets, search for Fractal Noise. In the Evolution section, collapse Evolution Options and Hold Option, or Alt, while clicking on Random Seed. In this box, write the expression Time Star 8. Then click anywhere else to save the changes. Hide the solid layer, and we have one more effect to add to the screen recording layer. Search for Displacement Map in the Effects and Presets window. Here select the solid layer and choose Effects and Masks for the setting on the right. And with that, we successfully applied the wiggle effect. You can adjust the random seed expression to time star 12 if you want to make the animation faster. Lastly, let me show you the render settings if you want to keep the background transparent for the exported media. Go to Composition and choose Add to Render Queue, then click here on the Output Module. For the format, choose QuickTime and for the channels RGB plus Alpha. Choose an Export Location here and then press Render. Now you're ready to use these animations in your videos to add some personality to your content. Want to learn more? Don't miss the video on the screen that YouTube is recommending just for you. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.